Hi guys, it's me, the PK and Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel. I first want to say happy Thanksgiving to you all, and I hope that each and every one of you have had safe travels to your final destination to spend time with your family and friends. Today, I'm going to be doing another review on one of my favorite bags, my Dooney & Burke Croco Embossed Satchel. Let me do this. Let me just give you a little bit of background on me and Dooney and & Burke. I have loved Dooney & Burke since I was in high school. That's been many, many, many years ago. But that tells something about the bag. That tells that it's quality, it's style, it's class. Um, I was one of the only girls in high school with a Dooney and & Burke bag. And the one that I had... It had a lock on the top of it. Back then it was, I think it was like $375. And for a 16, 17 year old to have a $400 bag, it was something. Um, but I have always loved Dooney & Burke from the very beginning. I've tried many other brands. But I always 360 back to Dooney & Burke. The quality is good. The craftsmanship is good. The price is good. They make you look like a million dollars, and who doesn't want to look like a million dollars? I know I do, but... Okay, so this is the bag, and it is a gray croco embossed satchel by Dooney & Burke, and it may... I'm not quite sure if it's coming off gray. It's like a dark... It's like a dark gray. It's not like a dove gray or a heather gray. Um, it's just a really nice, neutral, neutral gray. Okay, let me just go over why I love this bag so much. So right here, it has the Dooney & Burke brass hardware, and it says Dooney & Burke, 1975. The handles on the bag are this brown leather, really, really good leather. It's not the Vaquetta leather but it is still awesome, durable leather. And what I like about this bag that I don't like about some of the other bags that I have is that this one has the leather on the corners. And that actually makes it, um, it, it helps the bag to hold up really well. It also has the leather going up the sides here to make it a little bit more structured. On the sides this on the inside this bag is similar to my red pebble leather bag that I reviewed a couple days ago but I'll show you anyway just so you can compare it and just see all the the storage space that you have in here in organization there so it has a zip pocket it has a slip pocket and then on the other side of the bag it has a cell phone pocket right here, and then it also has a snap pocket right here. And all Dooney & Burke bags, on the right-hand side of the bag, you always have your key keeper. And what this does is it has a clamp on here where you can put your keys on. And all you have to do is just reach in the right hand side of your bag, there are your keys. This, this bag is huge. I mean, it may not look huge, but I mean, that that is huge. That's extremely big. And I like that it has the red interior because the red interior, it makes all your, your stuff pop. So if you have a black interior, Sometimes it makes things hard to find. So if you have black lipstick, if you have a black lip gloss, if your your key um, entry thing on your key ring is black, I mean, it's just hard to find it. But when it's red, and it just gives it a different level of sophistication. Similar to the Christian Louis Vuitton shoes, it has that red bottom and it pops. It gets you noticed. It also has the Dooney & Burke leather stitching on the inside right here. Handles are leather as well and they match all the other 
leather accents with the bag and again this is crockle embossed so if you if you look at this bag closely it's crockle and what I also what I like about it is all the highs and lows of the the different gray color that it has in there it looks like it has some black it has some different shades of gray um, it is gorgeous and again this bag is croco embossed it's not real croco it's embossed in croco Dunienberg actually embosses the leather for these bags so it's not real croc but I have carried this for maybe about I'd say about three weeks and no wear and tear at all I'm not very hard on my bags anyway I am very very careful with my bags I mean I still carry them and you know it's, I don't baby them but I'm not really rough I always make sure where I sit it I always make sure how I hold it that I don't hit any corners or anything and it has a flat hard bottom and guess what else it has it has feet it has feet you know that's one of the first things that I look for when I look when I see a bag if I see it I don't care how beautiful the bag is if it doesn't have feet I don't want it I don't want it it's just something about these feet something about the feet also this bag has it has a detachable strap and what I don't like about these straps here is extremely thin I never use the strap anyway I just like how it looks hanging down to me I think it's, it has a, a level of sophistication when you have your strap hanging down when the bag is over the crook of your arm another fellow youtuber Laurie hi Laurie she pointed out the other day about the clasp on this on the key fob keeper it's not the same color as the hardware on the bag this is more like of a grayish tone and this is gold so I'm not quite sure why Dooney and Burke did that I don't know maybe I don't know if it's because this is more more durable where it won't peel I'm not sure I, I don't I st Lori I don't get that either I, I don't get why they have the color of this different than the the hardware on the other parts of it but um, I get it I guess I still love you doing Burke and the zipper on this bag is a braided zipper right here just to give it another level of style and it zips up really easy zips up really easy very nice zipper it's a lot smoother than that it's just I'm holding it with one hand so it's making it it's making it a little bit difficult to zip but and this is how it looks whenever it's zipped I've seen other reviews where people say that the zipper starts to warp because if you carry it by the strap it pushes everything to the middle and it causes the zipper to warp but I don't ever use the straps so my bags are pretty intact there because I don't ever use the handles right here the hand another thing that I like about Dooney and Burke is on their handles they seal the edges of their handles so they won't fray because I've had bags in the past like before I started carrying Dooney and Burke this would start to fray and it'll it'll start looking really really ugly and when you pay four or five hundred dollars for a bag you don't want ugly handles on it so that's one thing that I like if you can see it see how they seal it the edges are nice and sealed 
This bag was $290. This is how I normally carry it. I normally just carry it on the crook of my arm. It's just such a sophisticated, classy look. And over time, this bag is going to soften. And I can already tell that it softened a lot from when I first got it. Because when I first got it, it was a little bit stiff. But now I can actually move it a little bit. So and this is like I and this is like I said, it's a everyday bag. This color it would go with purple, black, gold, green, orange. I mean, this is a true neutral bag. At first, I thought I was gonna have a problem trying to see what I was gonna wear with it, but I find myself going to this bag all the time. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. But in the meantime, go get you a bag because you can't have mine. Bye.